slow day. I had been waiting for a new case when the horn finally went off. It was the police. Said they had a case that needed solving. Since I'm broke, I figured it'd be a good idea. I could use the money. I had just returned from the station and was ready to get started when I heard someone walking up to the door. I beg your pardon, sir, but you got a minute? She was quite the looker. The kind of dame you could look up and down and get dizzy over all day long. Please, have a seat. I hope this is a good time. I'm in need of a good detective, and I heard you're the best in town. <clears throat> um, no smoking. Um, what can I help you with? I need you to get a scoop on a... on a serious matter of grave importance. Okay. You got any leads? I need a start. It's my husband. He's been murdered. I already went to the police and explained what happened. And they told me it wasn't urgent enough. But to get someone on it when they could. That's when I came to you. Do you know anything about it? Well, my husband and I had been married for a few years now. Like some marriages, things were great at first. But after so many years of not being intimate, things began falling apart. I started to have a fling with his best friend. And that's when things turn for the worse. I won't lie. He was a better lover than my husband, but I didn't love him. He was just a way to fill that void in my life. I never intended for my husband to find out, but secrets can only be kept for so long. So what happened next? Well, I'm sure this comes as no surprise. They started, they started arguing. Jeff accused them of taking advantage of me. He denied, saying that I was a flirt towards him. Jeff was trying to get close to take a swing, but his friend kept backing off. Eventually, his friend grabbed the fire poker for some added protection. He hit him in the head, trying to block one of Jeff's punches. Jeff. The blow killed him. So, so you want me to find this friend guy? Yes, sir. You know, I just came from the station, and they threw me a case. Sounds just like yours. I'll take a look at it, see what I can dig up. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much I want this guy behind bars. That's what we're here for, man. Oh, and by the way, what's this fella's name? His name is Frank. The last I heard from him, he was hiding at the river. And what's your name? You can call me Rose. Well, Rose, thanks for the tip. <laughs> 